What is going on everybody? Welcome to this tutorial on how to peek in CSGO. Peeking is an essential skill to have inside of CSGO and it can make or break your game. But before we get into the video, I wanted to let you guys know about our new sponsor. Today's sponsor of the video is MarketCSGO.com. They are a popular peer-to-peer -peer CSGO skin marketplace with over 100,000 daily trades. They just updated their brand new design with improved search engine and skin analyst features. Select the cheaper than on Steam filter and buy skins from other users much cheaper than on the community market. To list your items on the marketplace, download their official market app client which creates outbound trades to the correct buyer as soon as someone purchases your item. The client guarantees you a safe and reliable trade with 0% risk of sending your item to the wrong Steam user. Set up your account in the dashboard, update your inventory, and select the item you want to list and you're good to go. A wide selection of deposit and withdrawal methods are available at your disposal. Market CSGO offers you instant withdrawal to bank or crypto payment methods as soon as someone purchases your item. And they are currently running a 30 knife giveaway, which anyone can access through their website. Check out the website in the link in the description and start making profits today. All right, first things first, let's talk about what peeking is. Peeking is the act of moving around a corner or a wall to gain vision on an enemy or an area. This can be done in various ways and we'll cover a few of them inside of this tutorial. The first method we'll cover is the shoulder peek, also known as jiggle peeking, and it's a great way to bait out enemy shots without exposing yourself too much. It's extremely annoying to play against this as an opper and can make it very difficult for, for an opper to deal with. To do this, move around the corner you wanna peek and then use your strafe keys to move in and out of the corner. This will give you a small window to spot the enemy and take shots at, at them without getting hit. And as I mentioned earlier, it's also going to make you a lot harder to hit and it's so annoying to play against. Alright, the second method we will cover is a wide peek. This is most common type of peek and is used when you want to gain a larger field of vision. To do this, move to the corner you want to peek and then move out wide to expose yourself to as much as the area as possible. This is extremely good because you're gonna peek with confidence and it's gonna be very fast on the enemy screen and it, it may confuse them when they're trying to hold the angle. But be careful because this can be risky. You'll be exposed to enemy fire for a longer period of time and you're gonna be exposed to more angles. If the other team is playing a setup where they have multiple people holding the same angle, you're going to be exposed to more than one person, which is going to be bad. So just feel out when you should be jiggle peeking and wide peeking. And a lot of times I like to actually jiggle peek into a wide peek because you clear out some of the, the angles where they, they could be and then you peek wide to take care of the, the larger field of view. All right, the third method I'm going to cover is the crouch peek. This is used when you want to get a better view of an area without exposing yourself too much. To do this, move to the corner you want to peek and then crouch. This will lower your profile and make it really hard for enemies to hit you. And also as a bonus, you're, when you spray your gun and start shooting, you're already crouched. So your recoil is going to be a lot tighter and a lot easier to control. All right, guys, the fourth and final method I'm going to cover in this video is a jump peek. Now, this is an extremely creative way to peek around angles and clear out different parts of the map. This is used when you want to peek over an object or wall or you want to get a uh, different field of view on the, the angle you're trying to peek. To do this, move to the edge of the object you want to peek and ju jump over. While you're in the air, you'll be able to see over the wall or object and take shots at enemies without exposing yourself too much and just get the info that you need. So those are the four types of peaks inside of CSGO. The shoulder peak, the wide peak, the crouch peak, and then the jump peak. Remember, mastering the art of peaking takes practice and takes time. So do not be discouraged if it doesn't come to you naturally at first. It's going to be a long journey and you're going to have to get better at all of these different types of peaks and ways of, you know, mastering these this style of gameplay. Keep playing, keep practicing, and you'll be peaking like a pro in no time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We're growing every single day and we're getting more and more and more and more fans and viewers that are, you know, supporting us and helping us along the way. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the style. Let me know what you thought and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much. Peace.